philosophy, the lack of humility before nature that's being displayed here um, staggers me. Well, thank you, Dr. Malcolm, but I think things are a little bit different than you and I had feared. Yeah, I know. They're a lot worse. Now, wait a second. Now, we haven't even seen the part where Donald, 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 let him talk. There's no reason. No, no. I want to hear a review part. I really do. Yeah, yeah. Don't you see the danger, uh, John, inherent uh, in what you're doing here? Genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen, but you wield it like a, a kid that's found his dad's gun. It's hardly appropriate to start hurling generalizations. Uh, if I may. Um, I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You know, you read what others had done, and you and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. attitude, especially from a scientist. I mean, how can we stand in the light of discovery and, and not act? Oh, what's so great about discovery? It's a violent, penetrative act that scars what it explores, what you call discovery. I call the rape of the natural world. 